Hi, they're way out there. Happy, huh? <laughs> you wet puppy. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog officially, Brody says. <laughs> you guys couldn't tell. We've had a morning, haven't we? It's been so fun. I just feel like Brody and I are having quality time today. He's really thriving since. Okay, so we started off the morning. Max and I had coffee on our little balcony and ended our walk with Brody at the beach. And we had a little swim and he met his friend and they were running around together and I was swimming with them. It was low tide so we could go so far out. As you guys saw, we're just having a day and it's making me so happy. Like these are my most favorite moments, days I just get to hang with Brody. Like nothing is better. So it's actually, perfect timing to shout out the sponsor of this video. Thank you so, so much Walmart for sponsoring this video. Come here, this is about you. They have our favorite pet brands, Brody's favorite things, treats, toys. As you can see, I couldn't wait. I had to jump in right as this came the other day because the joy in Brody's eyes when I give him a new toy is like no other. First up, We've got his shark. This has been his favorite so far. These, oh, <laughs> did you saw that? You just came running. Oh, show them how much you love your shark. You gonna take it with? Okay. We got a bunny because this is an inside joke we have. You guys are gonna think I'm nuts. I'm crazy. Okay, there you go. Because there are so many bunnies where we live and he chases them around all day. Oh, oh you have to see this. You love your bunny, huh? <laughs> Brody, they're gonna think you are so not trained. He just keeps jumping <laughs> on the counter. I'm so bad, cause I'm just like, oh, he's so cute. I got him this big tub of treats. I feel like he likes the little ones and I feel like I can give him more. Instead of like those big bones, I feel like he's like chomping that for a while. So this is probably for like a littler dog, but we already have been getting into these. We're already sitting, so come on, sit. Good boy. Come here, sit. What else can we do? Touch, touch, spin. Whoa, <laughs> good boy. So we've been loving these. These are his favorite. They smell like peanut butter, like I wanna eat them. They always smell so good. This is how we have to give him any medicine or pills ever because he's so bad at taking pills. So definitely recommend these pill pockets if your dogs are bad at taking medicine. Thought this is gonna be a lot bigger and then like, it's a little one, but actually little toys are his favorite. As you can see, he goes nuts and he just wants to hold it in his mouth and he just trots around and holds it. So crab, obviously you can see they're kind of like beach themed with the shark, the crab. And we got these cleansing dog wipes. I love these for his paws when they're dirty. Greenies, okay, this I should actually give you right now because your breath is so bad. And these are obviously just like dental shoes, you guys know, so I try to give him some of these. I think it's supposed to help with breath, but also just like overall dental health. Sit, good boy. Then we've got these calming puppy bites which actually I'm so excited to try out for him. He loves the car. He's good for short car rides, but long car rides, he gets really anxious. So I think this would be good for that. Then I got these eight and one multifunctional treats. I think they just have like benefits for them. It's kind of like a vitamin for them. Then we've got, it's like a rubber stick that they can play with, but it floats. So you guys saw we had a swim this morning but now we forgot to bring this. Tonight we wanna to go back at like sunset and play with this. Cause it's so sad we'll throw him rocks or like seashells, but then they sink. So then he swims after them, but then they sink. But this he can actually retrieve. All right. <laughs> it's a gap fuzzy Sherpa 
little shirt with the ears. Like, you know, they have her like newborn babies and there was an XL. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna try our best. It actually fits pretty good. It's like a little snug. It's hard to get this up around his big melon, but I'm gonna insert photos right here. I <laughs> we put them on him the other day and it's so cute. This is purely for my enjoyment. He probably doesn't even like it that much, but I love it. Last but not least, we've got a bag of dog food. This is my favorite. If you're in a pro plan, specifically the beef and rice flavor, he just loves. Long story short, if you have a golden or maybe any dog, I don't know if it's like breed specific, should have different types of food, but I would recommend Purina Pro Plan. He's been on this for quite a while now, and if you guys remember, he actually started off on the solid gold pet food, and we ended up making a switch to the Purina Pro Plan just because he wasn't having issues or anything like that, but our vet was just like, hey, this is what I use for, oh, <laughs> this is what I use for my dogs, this is what I recommend. It's just like great, and he loves this. We just were trying different flavors. He loves the beef. So that's the food he eats, because I think I get DMs from you guys. Again, thank you so much, Walmart, for sponsoring this video. For all your pet needs, we love. If you want to try out some of his favorite things for your doggies, link down below. And they're so affordable on Walmart. So we are going to continue on <laughs> with our Mommy Brody day. And we're going to go outside. You want to go outside? <laughs> Now we're happy, huh? Now that you're in the sunshine. Also, one thing about Brody is he will literally be panting. His fur will feel so hot and he won't come inside. Like he's literally panting, but he refuses. He just loves to be outside, huh? <laughs> there you go. Literally picks the hottest thing to lay on. The cover that's black and has been baking in the sun. Like, is anyone else's dog? I think he just loves the feeling of being warm, but he'll be like panting. I can't with him. <laughs> I think he got hot on the cover, which I knew was gonna happen. Now look at him. That's more like it, huh, buddy? Finding a spot to rest in the shade. <laughs> yeah, do you guys see him in that pile of shade? He moved out to the mulch right here, which could not have been comfortable. He is the funniest freaking dog. <laughs> Brody and I are going somewhere so fun now. Where are we going? Tell him. We're going on an afternoon coffee date. It's a mommy Brody day. <laughs> We're in Max's car. If you're like, what? Your car looks different. Um, just because he's blocking me in. And yeah, we're gonna pick up Mary Lou's. I'm so excited. Okay, Loki took me so long to get here. There's so much traffic in the afternoon. Normally I'm getting my coffee in the morning, you know? <laughs> Can you guys just be as obsessed with him as I am? Please, thank you. Um, also, I haven't had Mary Lou's in a minute, so I'm so excited. Everyone pray for me that I'm not like horribly anxious because normally I have one coffee a day and this will be number two. And if I have one in the afternoon, sometimes I can't like sleep at night, but it's gonna be okay, it's worth it because this whole ride over, I thought about their snickerdoodle coffee. It's my favorite oat milk and it's like icy and cold and yeah. I wanna run in, grab one. I'm gonna grab one for Max too. And uh, I don't think they do bubble cups here. Also, he just had a really big one the other day, so I don't want him to have too much. I'll give you a taste of my coffee. He's never had coffee. That's probably not good for you. And no, it's definitely not my coffee. I'll give you an ice cube, how about that? <laughs> but see, this is what I mean. He loves a short drive like this. Like, I feel like he loves a car ride. Like, the music, the window's down. He has his head out the whole time. Like, the wind in his hair. But, like, the long drive is when he gets anxious and when I thought those calming treats that I got would be good for him, you know? But a short one, like a coffee run, is like perfection. It's like a fun little adventure for him, huh? <laughs> you guys have never been. Look at how cute it is in here. All pink. <laughs> okay, so kind of a fail, 
but honestly for the best because at first she was like oh no we're out of the snickerdoodle and i was like no. that always happens you get like really hyped up for something and you like want the one thing and then that's like the one thing you're out of and then she's like oh wait we have like a decaf one is that okay and i was like honestly yeah and she's like i could add espresso shots to it and i'm like you know what no this is for the best because i was just saying i don't want to be anxious whatever and who knew that they had snickerdoodle decaf and it tastes exactly the same i would never know mm. Now I can drink that knowing I won't be anxious. But I panicked and Max wanted the snickerdoodle too, but I don't know if he wanted the decaf. So then I got him cinnamon hazelnut, which he said is like pretty similar. Let's give it a try. Yeah, definitely different, but still good. So, Brody, mommy, coffee date complete. Sorry, dude, I don't really do. Maybe if I ask for it, P-U-P, C-U-P, he really didn't need. Do you have fun in the car ride regardless? Yeah. Oh. Um, okay. You just lay. <laughs> now we drive home. Look at this sight. Two glistening goldens. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. But this was what I was waiting for all day. This cold, juicy coffee in my hands. And we're back. Water ski? Oh, water oh ski. yeah, I see that far away. Looks like low tide again. <gasps> yeah, it does. <gasps> Booty dog, we got your sticky time. Oh, this is gonna be. I wanna throw it in the water. <laughs> so happy we decided to come back since he needs. It's gonna be cold. Oh, pretty. We don't come down here at sunset enough. Oh, yeah, I forgot you're going in too. I'm not gonna go in, I just showered. <gasps> Are those ducks over there? Look at the ducks, buddy. Go get him! Go get him! Go, go, go! He's thinking about it. Brody! Oh no, he's getting the duck. Go, buddy, go! You can do it! Brody dog. <laughs> he's distracted. Just throw it. I'm sure he'll get it. Brody, look! It's a stick! Oh my god! Did it hit him? Dodge. Honey! Hey, that looks like a <laughs> I'm screaming! Can we just think that it floated this whole time? Huh. Where'd it go? <laughs> What a fail. I literally just assumed. Maybe it's floating a little bit, but not a lot of it. Or not at all. Oh. What? I think I made up in my head that it floats. <laughs> it never said that. I just thought it looked like one that would float, you know? Get it quick before it sinks. It floats a little. <laughs> fail. That's so funny. Okay. We'll get one that actually floats. <laughs> That's my good boy. Got it anyway. Go, go, go. Yeah, it does. Go, go, go. Don't shake on me. <laughs> Look how pretty the sky is. I mean, kind of dark, but you can see how pretty it is too. Okay, let's see if you can get it. Ready, go. Hurry, hurry, before it sinks. What'd you find? Really? Well, those will float. <laughs> you can get those. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> How freaking funny. What a fail. <laughs> Tell them what you found. Crap. <laughs> How do you know it's alive? Come on. Woo! Get it. <laughs> Just lays with it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Swinging by Jersey Mike's for some subs. So excited. It's hot later. I just feel like what I've learned about myself in my 26 years on Earth is that no matter what, the night before a trip, to be up very late and no matter how much time I give myself during the day even if I give myself the entire day to get packed and get my life together it still takes past midnight <laughs> to get it all together and get packed for a trip the next morning like is it anyone else it's just me I don't know but I ate my number seven turkey provolone so quick give me a stomach ache I'm still so full there's certain food like avocado toast jersey mix I eat at the speed of light and I'm like why? <laughs> well, I know why, because it tastes so good. I can't like slow myself down, but I'm like, 
did that and then Brody played with our neighbor's dog like forever and we were so chatty and social and fun and Luke Max and I were like, oh my God, we have so much packing and stuff to get to. But yeah, and then we've just been like cleaning, tidying as we go, packing all at the same time. Self-tanned in there. I don't know if you can tell Max helped me self-tan. But I thought I could show you guys a little bit of the packing process. So over it these days, I'm just like, what I get is what I get. If I forget something, I don't care. It's not gonna be perfect. I'm over it. I hate packing. I hate it. It's so stressful to me. I try to streamline the process as much as possible with like a master packing list reminders, things like underwear, socks, sleep shirts, workout clothes, sneakers. Like I have like a list like that. Cause there's always certain things. Like I always forget like my razor or like my birth control pills or you know what I mean? Specific things like that. Hair ties. So I have a list that I go off of, but yeah, I try to plan out my outfits. I actually did that at the end of the last vlog, if you guys saw. And yet, it's not great. <laughs> the time, it's all getting in my suitcase. Whoa, this is way too bright. Oh, there we go. By the time, it's all getting in my suitcase. It's late and I'm throwing it in. It's not gonna be folded perfect. I don't care. This is just a whole mess of way, way, way too many clothes. But I was like, I'm not trying to like narrow this down right now. I'm just gonna overpack. I'm going to bring my big suitcase because we're not like flying on a plane or anything. It's just gonna be in my trunk. So I'm like, yeah, might as well big my map bring my massive like checked suitcase size. Got some swimsuits, socks and undies in there. PJs, workout clothes. I threw in this dress last minute. I don't, I like literally don't know what to pack. I don't know if it's like the right vibe. It's too late to ask. What I get is what I get and I don't get upset. It is what it is. <laughs> I'm actually proud of myself though because, well, like if you guys can't tell, I'm packing in um, my third bedroom, guest room right now. Um, sorry, I'm half asleep. I have my clothes laid out for tomorrow, my whole outfit, and then this I just got out finish putting together, zipping up. It's um, just bags and shoes and that little duffel. Wow, I might have put too much self tanner on my toes. They're looking, yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> and then lastly, I'm just gonna have to throw my toiletries in here. Should be good to go. The only thing I have left to pack in the morning, I can't believe I'm leaving something to pack in the morning. I never do this, I'm gonna be stressed. I'm not gonna sleep, but it's fine. I'm not gonna go downstairs right now because I don't feel like it when I wanna go to bed. Um, so that means I just have to pack my little tote bag in the morning. It's like my laptop and sunglasses and chargers and adapters and all that type of good stuff. But I'm gonna end off this vlog here. I feel like it's probably getting long. There's a little taste of my packing process. It's not great. If you guys have packing tips, comment down below. I always wish whenever I'm in the midst of packing, I'm like, why didn't I tell myself that the trip was like today? Like I always want one extra day and I always wish I was someone that like packed days in advance. Even if it was like one day earlier, I feel like that would be a lot less stressful than stressing and rushing like the night before, but alas, here we are. <laughs> and I'm just vlog here. We're gonna have so much money on talk. It's worth staying up late and trying to get my crap together because it's gonna be the best time. And that's why I'm also not that stressed because I'm like no matter what I pack or forget or don't pack, like we're gonna have a blast. So I don't really care about my outfit that much. But like I want to, like I want to wear good outfits and have good pictures and stuff, but I can only stress so much, you know? Anyway, <laughs> as I keep chatting, love you guys. Thanks for watching this vlog and I'll see you in my next one.